Hi, in this video I will teach you 10 ways to sound more like a native. There are a couple of sentences or phrases or words that we use in German that don't have an obvious direct translation into English, but a lot of Germans are using them and they are very colloquial. So when you go to friends and you speak with them in German or even colleagues at work, you can talk to them using those phrases and it makes you sound a lot more natural than just using the standard phrases that you might learn in a German lesson. Cool. If you like this kind of content, then please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. The first one is na klar. Na klar means of course. Uh, klar is in this case not clear, um, which is usually the translation for that. You could also say klar is something like yes, but na klar means of course. Wollen wir heute ins Restaurant gehen? Na klar. So that's how you could use that. Just yes, of course. Would you like to go to a restaurant today? Yes, of course. Na klar. Nummer zwei. Auf jeden Fall. Auf jeden Fall means in every fall or in every case. So the translation here actually is definitely. So for example, using the, the previous sentence, wollen wir uns heute im Restaurant treffen? Wollen wir uns heute im Restaurant treffen? Auf jeden Fall. Definitely we are going, going to meet today in a restaurant. Nummer drei. Passt schon. Passt schon doesn't mean it fits all right. It means it's fine. So for example, something like um, es tut mir leid, ich habe es vergessen. And then your answer could be passt schon. You know, I'm sorry, I forgot this. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Passt schon. That's how we would use passt schon. That's a very colloquial way to say something like that. It's fine. Nummer vier, Mahlzeit. Mahlzeit actually means mealtime or meal, but we oftentimes, or well, especially in bigger companies in Germany, they're using this to say hello to each other um, during the lunchtime. So around 12 o'clock or one o'clock or something like that, people greet each other, walking past each other or something like this in the office saying Mahlzeit. I find this quite funny because, you know, it sounds uh, like something completely completely different, but um, we just greet each other saying mealtime or meal. Um, so just saying hello in the office during lunchtime. Nummer fünf. Saying something like ich hätte gern. Ich hätte gern is I would like to. And then you just fill in whatever you would like to have. Ich hätte gerne einen Kaffee. I would like to have a coffee. Ich hätte gerne ein Brot. I would like to have a bread. So you could use this ich hätte gern uh, to like request something, to ask for something. And it sounds a lot more polite than saying ich will oder gib mir or something like that. Use ich hätte gern if you want to order something, if you ask to get something. Nummer 6. Darf's sonst noch was sein? Or darf es sonst noch was sein? That means what else? So for example, let's say you go to the bakery and you're ordering, you said, ich hätte gerne ein Brot. Um, and then you, if you don't order something else, then the seller might ask you, darf sonst noch was sein? Do you want something else? What else? Darf's sonst noch was sein? Nummer sieben. Das macht nichts. Das macht nichts just means kein Problem. No problem. Das macht nichts. So the direct translation here would be that makes nothing. But it just means no problem. Kein Problem. Das macht nichts. So for example, let's say you are throwing over a glass and you want to, you're saying sorry. Entschuldigung, ich wollte das Glas nicht umstoßen. Dann könnte die andere Person sagen, das macht nichts. No problem. Nummer 8. Das steht dir gut. Das steht dir gut. That stands you well means that suits you. Das steht dir gut. Oder you could also say blau steht dir gut. Like blue suits you. So for example, let's say you go shopping with a friend and your friend is trying on new clothes and you say das steht dir gut. Oder blau steht dir gut. Blue suits you well. Use that if you want to say something like that in German. Nummer 9. Quatsch. Quatsch um, is actually written with a Q and U, but we say it like a K-W. Quatsch. 
and that means nonsense so for example you want to say something like oh nonsense that's no problem then you could say ach quatsch das ist kein problem ach quatsch das ist kein problem quatsch nonsense and the last one number 10 mach's gut mach's gut just means goodbye see you later make it well so we would just use that when we say goodbye to each other. Um, then I would say to a friend maybe, mach's gut, bis später, mach's gut. So that's a very colloquial way as well to say goodbye to a friend. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Also, I have a free ebook for you. Just go to the link in the show notes below. That will teach you some German. There is one ebook that is for advanced speakers, for business German. And then there is another ebook for beginners. So you can choose which one suits best for you. Mach's gut!